Vroom, 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 vroom. Hey, yo, bros. How the fuck are you, man? It's your brother, Paul. The handsome sex god. The handsome sex god. Okay. So, today is NoFab Day um, 8, I think. I'll check on the thingy and then I'll put it on the title. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do today is, for you guys and for me, I'm going to document, for me, <laughs> I'm going to document, um, like what I'm doing right now, my thought process, my rituals, my morning rituals, my diet, my, what else? I'm not really on a diet. <laughs> I just eat certain foods, nigga. Okay. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, and... Yeah, stuff that I'm writing and stuff like that. Okay, so, have you ever known, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Have you ever, you found yourself like in a high place, like a place, <laughs> and I don't mean, I don't mean marijuana high, no, I don't mean that. Okay, so you find yourself in a place where you're like having a great time, everything is going fucking amazing. I remember, um, hello, hi, <laughs> I remember skating down this road, hey, <laughs> I remember skating down this road, and, um, some girls just ran up to me and they were like, well, they didn't run up to me, they were next to me. And then one girl like jumped in front of me and she was like, oh my fucking gosh, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. And I think I recorded a video on that for you guys. And then I uh, actually spoke to those people. They, they came to me while I was recording. So during that time, I was just in this amazing place, just happily, just attracting all these good things. People, um, opportunities, and just a bunch of good stuff, okay? <laughs> so, during that time, have you ever asked yourself, yo, how the fuck did I get that, okay? How did that come into being? How did I get that stuff? How did I get into that mood, into that abundance vibration frequency? How did I tap into that wavelength, okay? Oh my God, the gains, dude. The gains, bro. The gains, bro. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I hope you guys are working out. I hope you're really putting, pumping that fucking iron, okay? So, or, or doing calisthenics like me. I pretty much do calisthenics with a backpack, okay? <laughs> so, if that even counts though, it doesn't fucking matter. So, how did you, how did I get into the position? How was I so happy? Okay, so during those times, I wondered like, what was I actually doing during that time to get there, right? So, I would like trace back, see, try to figure out what I'm doing. Now, I'm just fucking recording what I am doing. So, next time, I'll just be like, oh, that's what I was doing that I'm not doing now. Oh, that's what helps. Okay. So, oh my jaws, my fucking face is just, oh, oh, oh. I have the tiger mode. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are living in Africa. Here in Handsome Sex God. <laughs> We're staying in Africa. I'm living here in Africa. I don't know if you can see. It's probably pretty fucking bright. Like me. <laughs> like my intuition and intellect. Okay. So. My eyes are so dreamy. My eyes are so fucking Oh, so the um, yeah. So my morning ritual. First thing. That's what what we'll start with. Okay. First thing when I wake up, I have my alarm set for five a.m. I get up. I switch off the alarm thingy. <coughs> open the shutters. I say good morning to my brother. I say great morning, bro. Great morning. Beautiful morning, bro. And I appreciate it, and I feel the the oxygen. Thank you, universe. Thank you, creator, for this mysterious substance that I inhale into the center of my body. Thank you for that. I feel it. And I feel thankful to exist and to feel stuff and to fucking be here. And I feel that gratitude. Okay. Then I, that, I either do that first or I simultaneously do it and open the shutters. Okay. And then the light comes in. And sometimes it's dark outside because it's five. It's fucking 5 a.m. Okay. I always get up at 5 unless like last night I no. 
Yeah, yeah. It's the first day. It's Tuesday today. It's the first because we had Easter Monday, as I call it. I call it Easter Monday. So Tuesday, this was the first day of campus because yesterday was like holiday. So I went to bed a bit later and then I woke up at like, I don't know what fucking time I woke up, but I recuperated. Okay. So normally I get up at five every morning, 5 a.m. And then I go to drink water. And then I put on the kettle for green tea. Then I go and meditate for 10 minutes and I focus on my breath. Like breathing super slowly through the nostrils and then slowly in slowly out and just just relax if i think of something else i'm still relaxed as fuck chilled as fuck i'm still, still <laughs> i'm still chilled the fucking fuck out okay i'm still chilled okay <laughs> so if a thought comes into my head or into your head what you do what i do is let's say i start thinking of a giraffe right there's a giraffe in my head i'm like I don't go like, ah, fuck, you think of giraffe, nah, fuck that, okay, I'm like, okay, giraffe, cool, I was thinking of a giraffe, and I come back to the breath, and then maybe I think of an elephant, and I come back to the breath, yeah, all these African animal names, <laughs> so, all those things, they're just reps, okay, those are natural, those are supposed to be there, that is like when you let the, 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 the barbell down, okay, that's like thinking, right, then you, when you lift it up, that's basically when you bring your thought back to your breath. So it's like, Argh! back to the breath. And you think of it, and you're like, oh, back to the breath. You see, you're gymming with whatever the fuck meditation exercises, okay? <laughs> so, so that's what I do next. Then, then I drink my green tea and I go downstairs with a laptop. And with the mouse, if the mouse is, isn't there, then I go and I make a song, okay? And I deep work, deep focus. Carl Newport talks about it in his motherfucking book, bros. Deep work, okay? Deep work. And so I get an instrumental off the internet or from my broskies who make beats. <coughs> then I, I write lyrics to it and I write lyrics. And... <laughs> And I write lyrics to it. I, I'm standing like this because I don't want I don't want to give people the impression that I'm that I'm what's his name recording them because they might think this is selfie mode right now. They might think that it's from here. Um, I don't mind. I just want them to be comfortable. Also, I'm fucking comfortable doing this and acting like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I care about people's feelings. Not not about their thoughts, but their feelings. I care about their feelings. Um. So. Not their thoughts though, and they're not their opinions, but their feelings, and their lives. Okay, that's the stuff that matters. Their heart and soul, and shit. Okay, not not their brain thoughts and shit like that. Fuck that. Doesn't talk, doesn't fucking matter. Okay, but their hearts do. Okay. Um. <coughs> then I make that song. I write to the beat before I switch the laptop on. I'm writing to the beat. Then I got the song kind of going. I record the melodies into my voice note thingy and then I got all my lyrics basically piece it together <laughs> and then when I record then I fucking record the song and it goes one way one fucking way put the effects in all that beautiful fucking stuff my voice man oh no 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 and then man <laughs> and I blend them together and put that audio sound here, the here, and the here, and okay, music producers will know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay, some other people might as well, and then what happens next, then I get ready for campus, okay, <laughs> and I shower, get dressed, do all that stuff, um, in a minute fasting, so I don't eat until 2 p.m., okay, at the time that I'm getting ready, it's like 40 past 6 or 20 to 7 a.m., so then I drive to campus, do stuff at campus. Oh yeah, and uh, as soon as I fucking get to campus, what I do is I take out my gratitude journal, which is not this, this is a Bible, a small Bible. I don't know how they fit everything into here. I don't read the Bible anymore though. Um, I don't believe in the biblical stuff, okay, in the biblical God. Um, I used to though, 
I used to witness to people, used to preach and stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> used to preach on these streets, bro. Okay. So, not anymore. I'm a different pastor. I'm a different preacher. Okay. I believe in a different God. <laughs> so. No. <coughs> okay. So, next thing. I mean, first thing, yeah. Gratitude journal. So I write down the top five things that I'm thankful for that motherfucking morning. So far. Okay. So far. So what I wrote today, let's take a look at Handsome Sex God's Gratitude Journal. This is just a room inside of this building house. And this is my bedroom. Okay, that's my bedroom. That's my brother. There. And that's Yo, where I Gucci. stay. Hey, what's Gucci? Hey, Gucci Apple. Yamo. <laughs> we got these posters of heroes and people we look up to. So this is my there's gratitude Donald. journal. Oh wow, there's Donald Trump. There's Robert T. Kiyosaki. It's Casper your vest. There's Lazar Angelov. There's Jason Capital, Will Smith, Eminem, aka Trevor Noah, and uh, Royster59, and a bunch of awesome people. And then me, of course. So, this is the gratitude journal. I'm going to show you now what is inside of this beautiful Pandora's box that only contains glory <laughs> and love and awesomeness. So, okay. So this is how it looks. Inside of it, it says, you can make your own, by the way, too. I learned this from Clark Kegley. Shout out to you, Clark Kegley. Good videos, dude. Good video with the gratitude journal. Help me, dude. Your technique, too. So, um, here we go. Things, top five things I'm thankful for. Let me read to you guys what I wrote this morning. Okay. So, <coughs> I wrote, I've been using... The I am enough phrase. Yeah, that's another thing I've been doing. I've been using the I am enough phrase. So I learned from this lady called Marissa, Marissa Piers. Marissa Piers, okay? And she's like apparently a hypnotist. Oh, <laughs> she's like, a, I don't know, some specialist in hypnotherapy or something like that. And what she spoke about was our fucking thought life, bros. Our thought life, okay? Not in the way that the Bible talks about it, where they talk about don't think about vaginas and don't think about dicks and don't think about sex and don't think about sex and don't think about sex. Stop thinking about sex. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's not in the biblical way. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it's in the I love Christians, though. I love I love Bible people. I love all people. Okay. I love you. I'm just making fun of it. I'm just making fun of it. I still love you. I still love where you're coming from. I still love you as a soul. Fucking hug you and care for you and fucking feed you. Make you sandwiches, bro. Okay, I still love you. Okay. Even though I'm making fun of what you believe in. Okay. Because I, I used to believe in that too. And it's cool. Keep believing. It's, it's A lot of it is positive for the world. A lot of it is positive. It's one of the one of the more positive religions out there. Okay. Um, and I don't expect it to be perfect. I don't expect. Yeah. Okay. So. Don't expect you to be a saint, bro. I don't expect you to be a saint. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I wrote, yeah, I've been using the I'm enough phrase. So she speaks about our thought life and in the psychological way that your thoughts, you may not think that they affect you on a level. Wow, the time is, okay, I'll just say the good, big things here. So, say I am enough. And I am awesome, I'm confident, I'm confident with no agenda. And just keep saying that shows, like I said in the Praise Yourself video, okay? And everyone else is enough, I am enough, love everyone, everything, okay? So, um, and then also write gratitude journal and think of the thingy that you're writing down and experience it, visualize it as you're writing it and stuff like that and what you're grateful.